been well. Well, I've got to say, yesterday was a pretty crazy day here in Sydney, guys. It was quite eerie, quite scary, I must admit. We've had nothing but bad luck with bushfires all the way up to the top of Queensland, the Central Coast, Port Macquarie, and even down here in Sydney. It was one of those strange days that they go up in the ladder, clean out all the gutters, clean all the sides of any you know sticks and debris. Like I said, it was quite dry. We haven't had a lot of rain here. Um, so it's been quite sad. A lot of homes and, and unfortunately lives have been lost um, due to these awful fires. So I uh, hope everyone is safe, guys. But um, I thought we might do something a little bit happy today, something a little bit different. We're gonna do five things I love about my Mini JCW. I have done one of these before. They're quite fun on the Focus RS. Um, but before we do hop into it, I've gotta say the ignition coils, unfortunately, guys, have not rectified that misfire on the car. Um, so Ray, if you're listening, mate, we'll be coming down to see you to get that walnut procedure started on Corgi. Um, so that was a bit of an unfortunate miss. And also, too, I've got to make mention, uh, last week I ended up taking the car down to my local exhaust shop to get the resonator delete done on Corgi. And I think I ended up living with it for roughly two days. It absolutely drove me insane. It was way too loud. Some of you might like it, I did not like it at all. I must admit I like the original exhaust until I'm ready and got the money to put a proper system on it. For now, my probably biggest thing would probably be to put on this car would have to be a cold air induction system. So stay posted for that. I'll be definitely doing something soon and ordering something. Comment down below on what, if anyone has put one on, on what you do recommend. Um, so we're going for a bit of a drive. I don't know if any of these roads are closed through here. Yesterday, this is a bit of a, res um, a, bit of a national park uh, where I usually do my videos. It's quite cool through here, quite windy, but yesterday it was closed. So um, we'll see how we go. But let's kick it off. Let's start with number one, five things I love about Corgi. Guys, well, definitely for me, would have, we'll kick it off and say the exterior, the overall look on the outside of Corgi. Um, I'm going to say Mini and BMW have done a great job. I know it is a 2010 model, but it still has got a special look to it. Um, I've had so many people since I've owned this car come up and comment, you know, is this your car? It's a cute car, it's a nice looking car. Um, most people always think it's my wife's car and then realise when they find out it's my car, they have a bit of a chuckle. So it still turns heads. It's quite cool that, you know, after all these years, everyone knows what they are. And um, I guess being an older generation from the old school minis, everyone still remembers how cool these things are and how fun they are to drive. So it's got that look about it. Everyone loves. I love it. Um, like I said, I think it looks great. Probably one of my favourite things would have to be the roof line on the top. It's got that nice square look to it. A little spoiler on the top, the front splitter. Um, yeah, it's just got a real rally uh, stance to it. That's one thing I do love about it. So number two for me, I'm gonna say it, is definitely the sound that you do get from this thing. Um, straight out of the box, the stock exhaust system on the JCW that Mini have done, I absolutely love it. And maybe that was one of those things for me to remove it and you know put the old one back. It makes you appreciate the sounds that you do get out of this thing. Whether you're in normal mode and uh, as soon as you do pop it in sports mode, you get those little bangs and pops from the exhaust system. So I absolutely love how these things sound straight out of the box. Okay, sorry about that. My camera, the battery on the GoPro had died, so my apologies. Okay, so where were we? Number three for me, I have mentioned it before, and that's definitely gotta be the driving position in the JCW. This makes for a really pleasant drive when you're sort of having a bit of fun in this car in and out of the corners. And when that seating position is perfect, you 
absolutely love it just makes more for a pleasant drive and a fun drive as well too so definitely the seating position mini have definitely got that right i reckon it's very very important um, i know these seats aren't like full-on recaro seats like what i had in the rs but i've got to say they're pretty pretty comfortable to drive whether you're going for a long drive long distance um, or just to the shops to pick up some milk and bread these things are quite comfy they do hug you believe it or not in and out of the corners even though they are leather there's no sort of like alcantara or anything like that um, they are pretty good so pretty happy with the seating position in corgi all right number four for me um, it's probably pretty similar to you know what we just spoke about the seats um, it's definitely the interior the way that this the car inside um, the internals you can definitely tell it is definitely a BMW or a Mini. The quality, I've got to say, is quite nice to be inside this cockpit of the JCW. Really happy with the leathers. Um, the dash, the old school cluster on how it's finished, that's probably one of my favourite things would have to be the dashboard. It's something that you do look at every day when you are driving, the speedo, um, the instruments, the dials, the buttons on the pretty much the, the whole setup of it all. Um, that's one thing that I'm definitely pretty happy with um, how it is all being finished the quality of the interior is definitely quite nice even down to the steering wheel you got all your buttons um, for your phone for the volume of the stereo system as well too um, and this thing even comes with the uh, good package with the amplifier in the back the Harman and carbon speakers as well too so the overall internals the interior I've got to say, absolutely loving it. Um, it doesn't look cheap, that's for sure. It's got a little bit of class to it. Um, you know, when I compare it to, say, the Subaru that I had, the WRX, you know, the sort of cheap quality of plastics that you did have in that car, um, and you sort of compare this a Mini, um, it's definitely, um, you know, finished a lot more nicer. Okay, guys, so number five, I've got to say, it's a little bit hard because I absolutely love this thing, and. You know, I love everything about it and to come up with five things, you know, overall, I'd, I'd say I love the whole car, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, number five for me would definitely have to be these three little buttons down here in the center console where the gear stick is. Uh, we got our sports button and also we've got the D, the D, D, C, so the traction control. Um, so I love that setup with the sports button. I've got a admit it makes a massive difference um, you know for a small car as soon as you do put in the sports mode it, it, it basically changes the whole you could say the whole dynamics of the driving um, the way that this car does drive um, it definitely opens up the throttle response so that's one thing that we all love I love it definitely does change the dynamics of the the engine the setup definitely more throttle response and um, it just for the steering as well too um, it just makes for a better drive. It's sort of like just point and it sort of shoots. So they, that button there, the sports button, would have to be definitely one of my favorites. As soon as I jump in it, the car's warmed up to the right attempts. It's definitely straight into sports mode for me. So definitely sports mode, guys. Um, the traction control, the one good thing I like about it as well too, um, you can just press the button and deactivate it. Now, when it does deactivate, it doesn't deactivate it completely. You've got to keep your finger on the button for a few seconds and then it'll come up with that little uh, triangle formation. So it's definitely getting rid of the whole traction control on the car, um, which makes for you know, a little bit more of a fun sort of drive. You know, this thing, keep in mind, is front wheel drive and you do get a lot of, you know, front wheel spin in it, which is quite fun. Uh, maybe down the track, a quake diff uh, is needed for this car so it doesn't sort of spin out as much. But um, definitely the sports mode and the traction control are, are my favorite buttons. Um, but while we're on that subject of the sports mode, it, it'd definitely be the the, um, the clutch, the brake and the accelerator as well too, guys. I like what many have done with that, how they're pretty much placed or even. So if you do want to have a bit of fun and do a bit of heel and toe, uh, a bit of rev matching as well, it does make it a lot easier. Um, you know, but I have been in other cars where it is a little bit harder to sort of heel toe rev match, but definitely many have got it right on the mark anyway. So uh, there we have it, guys. That's five things that I love about my Corgi, about my JCW. Um, but as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay posted, stay tuned. There is definitely more content to come on Corgi. Let us know if you do want to see 
um, something a little bit different or if you aren't sure if you do own one or thinking about buying one and you're not sure hit me up and uh, I'll get back to you guys um, but as always thanks for watching I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day stay safe and uh, catch you on the next one